public transport and living on a budget. Two of my favorite things in my university life, both of which caused me at once great stress and a bit of sense of accomplishment attempting to step into the world of adulthood. I'll be sharing some of my experiences and tips using the local public transport, as well as some things that I wouldn't have been aware of about living on a budget until I actually experienced it myself. I hope that you might find some of these useful to hear about. Tips for transport in general and in Vancouver. I'd recommend doing a little bit of research to find out what is the local transit app for your area. And that includes the different modes of transport, uh, their schedules, as well as a tool that helps you plan how to get wherever. If not, I find Google Maps to be quite reliable these days as far as Vancouver is concerned. And in Vancouver, I most often use the transit app. Uh, it has all the different modes of transport, including buses, sky trains, and sea bus, uh, their schedules, and a real-time location update, as well as a trip planning tool. Next thing I wanted to talk about is trip planning. Often commuting is a time-sensitive matter, like you might have to be somewhere at a certain time, or you might have to go there and be back within a time limit, or even if the total commute time is longer than the activity you wanted to do at your destination, is it still worth going? It's helpful to keep these things in mind when you're planning your trip using public transport. Frankly, I'm not the most efficient person. So I would encourage you, if there is somewhere you want to go and you would regret not going there, just go. Regardless of if it takes two hours to get there and you're only doing it for one hour. It, because if you can't justify it that way, you won't be able to justify going any other way and you would regret it. Besides, commute time can also be used as a way to wind down or just relax from your day's activities, as well as to chat with a friend. So it's not just time wasted sitting on a bus, in my opinion. Although in Vancouver specifically, the way the transit system works is based on time. So within 90 minutes, you're charged once to travel wherever, but after that time, you'll be charged a second time. So sometimes it might be worth it to see if you can plan to go out and be back within 90 minutes, um, if possible, such as for a short grocery run. Also in Vancouver, based on my experiences, on weekends, buses don't come on time very often, so it might be useful to plan around that. Another noteworthy thing about transit in Vancouver, in the winter, it gets really stuffy and hot inside the buses and skytrains due to the heating, especially during rush hour when you're crowding onto the car with a bunch of other people. So it's good to dress in layers or at least be able to cool off. Things I learned while learning to budget. When you're living on a budget, either the groceries you buy can quickly get reduced down to only the basic necessities, or you might be excited with your newfound sense of freedom and become too wild with buying unnecessary or miscellaneous things. I think it's definitely important to try to strike a balance between the two because you might either be overly depriving yourself of something that you really wanted or you might not really be thinking about what you actually need. Hey, maybe some days you want to treat yourself after a particularly rough day and you might not be able to put a budget on your well-being. While on the topic of grocery shopping, I realized the joy of reading through the flyers for the weekly deals. Not only does that save you time and let you plan in advance, uh, you might also be less likely to stray away from your budget because you have a rough idea of how much you're going to spend on that trip. And of course, you get to save money by getting the deals. On the topic of going out with others, this is one that I admit was a bit of a stressful struggle. Because everyone might allocate their budget differently, it might create some sort of conflict between people just trying to decide where to go, how to split costs, if one person should pay for everything first, etc. And then afterwards comes the headache of chasing everyone down to pay back for something. For me, sometimes these events just became a really great source of stress and worry trying to keep track of my finances. And I think the most valuable thing I learned was just to let go and just try to overthink it sometimes. For example, I've chosen to go out today and I'm determined to enjoy myself, so I won't beat myself up for today's spending. And letting go of that worry also helps your relationship with others. All too often, I've found myself in the past feeling uncomfortable with some people because of the different way we handled our spending. And I found that I value that relationship much more than my worry over my spending. When it comes to keeping track of your spending, you can try whatever works for you. I think I jumped around various methods myself, such as paper and pen, apps, and calendars, etc. I find that putting it down in numbers really helps you visualize how much I'm spending on certain things and if I'm doing it too often. So at least in the early days, I would try to keep track of my spending in some way. So those are a few takeaways that I wanted to share while in the early days of university life. Just starting to get used to being a little bit more independent, making my own decisions about things I never realized needed so much thought, 
I hope it can provide you with some sense of what to expect and how you might choose to deal with it. As always, a summary. For public transport, you can get the local transit app or just use Google Maps if that's easier. Living on a budget, strike a balance between your wants and your needs, but it's okay to treat yourself sometime. 2. Reading the flyers or planning ahead can save you time and money. 3. Learning when to let go and not overthink when you're with others if that's starting to affect your relationships.